Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Padua and we are back to our analysis for this Monday through Wednesday, October 4 to 6, 2021 and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's proceed with our update. Here's the latest graph set beginning today, Monday until uh, tomorrow, Tuesday. We have the active low pressure area, 92W, traversing the Visayas right now. It's already been upgraded by Pagasa as a tropical depression, while the uh, other agencies like Japan Meteorological Agency and uh, Joint Typhoon Warning Center remains it as a low pressure area as it uh, moves across the uh, southern Philippine Islands. The broad system is uh, currently disorganized and is uh, trying to uh, consolidate uh, across the landmass of the Visayas. Around 2 p.m. it's in the vicinity of southern Negros and it's now uh, moving back across the sea and it's now over the Sulu archipelago and it's expected to traverse uh, Palawan within the next 12 to 24 hours. So right now the wind speed of Lani is around uh, uh, 35 kph. It's still below tropical depression threshold and is expected to uh, exit the uh, West Philippine Sea by tomorrow evening or afternoon. And from there it could push through with its intensification and might uh, be upgraded into a tropical depression. So based on the uh, Devorak uh, analysis the uh, tropical cyclone tool that we use on detecting the uh, uh, development of the winds surrounding uh, the uh, circulation of this LPA. It's still at 1.0, so meaning that the uh, system is below tropical depression threshold. So uh, the uh, trough of this LPA is bringing showers and thunderstorms across uh, a wide array of Mindanao. Visayas, Mimaropa, particularly Palawan, while uh, over here across Luzon, uh, Bicol region, Mindoro, Marinduque, we have the uh, enhanced uh, easterly surface wind flow bringing some isolated thunderstorms across the area. And within the trough we have uh, a shallow low pressure area over the southern portion of the West Philippine Sea west of southern Palawan and it's not expected to intensify and uh, we have some southwesterly winds here below uh, affecting uh, areas of uh, southern Mindanao and we have another low pressure area 93W which is uh, currently at uh, low chances of developing into a tropical cyclone or less than 35 percent and it's expected to move towards the northwest in the general direction of the western Micronesia Islands. So uh, this is another uh, system to watch. Some computer, majority of the computer models develop it as a powerful typhoon or a severe tropical storm moving towards extreme northern zone. I'm going to show to you the uh, latest uh, global output or global model output in a short while. And there you go. That's the uh, latest on this uh, uh, a low pressure area or uh, Lani which is uh, now traversing across the uh, Sulu archipelago and if we uh, take a look at the fast animation there you go the uh, disorganized circulation and a very broad uh, rain band of this uh, LPA moving across the Sulu archipelago and here comes the other one LPA 93W here is the zoom in southern animation. As you can see, all over the Philippine Islands, there are lots of thunderstorms generated by the easterlies and the trough associated with tropical disturbance or LPA 92W known as Lani by Pagasa. So uh, Lani is right here as of this moment and it's uh, moving towards the uh, uh, Kuyu Island and uh, Likely by tomorrow or, uh, or on Wednesday, it might be upgraded into a, uh, a tropical cyclone. And here's the rainfall accumulation for the next uh, 24 hours. Expect some heavy to intense rainfall across the Sulu archipelago, particularly over the western sections of uh, Panay, uh, Mindoro, mm, northern portions of uh, Palawan, as well as the Calamian Kubub Islands as the low pressure area or Lani will uh, uh, traverse the area within the next 12 to 24 hours. Elsewhere, isolated to scattered rain showers and thunderstorms will be expected across the eastern sections of Luzon, eastern Beagle region, 
and uh, this is due to the uh, easterly surface wind flow while over the uh, southwestern portions of Mindanao there could be some rains and thunderstorms as well due to the enhanced southwest monsoonal flow okay so that's the latest from our 24-hour rainfall accumulation if you take a look uh, for the next three days there you go lots of rains and thunderstorms all across the uh, philippine islands and if we take a look at the uh, uh, wind forecast from the uh, uh, european model for the next uh, uh, three days until wednesday by tomorrow afternoon lpa uh, 92w or lani will emerge over the West Philippine Sea, west of Mindoro, and is likely to be upgraded into a tropical depression as it moves towards the West Philippine Sea. And if we move into Wednesday afternoon, uh, it might uh, be upgraded into a tropical storm uh, as it moves out of the Philippine area of responsibility. And here comes 93W somewhere to the south or west of Guam, moving towards the west northwest if we fast forward the model uh, let's see until uh, wednesday next week so by thursday there you go the storm is slowly moving towards china here comes 93w and on friday uh, tropical uh, storm potential tropical storm lani um, approaching the coast of the southern china while 93w is becoming active okay and on saturday it is expected to enter par as a possible tropical depression and this could likely be named Maring and on Sunday it will track towards the uh, extreme northern Luzon area as a tropical storm and uh, Monday Tuesday until uh, yeah Tuesday Tuesday afternoon it will start to traverse the northern portions of Cagayan the coastal areas particularly Balintang Channel uh, or the Bashi Channel, so it will pass across these areas similar to the uh, track of uh, Super Typhoon Kiko which passed over the Batanes Group of Islands. So uh, that's the latest from the uh, European model. If we forward it to Wednesday, it will move across the uh, South China Sea on Wednesday and another LPA is forming to the west of Guam. So far, when it comes to the Bicol region, we don't have any uh, landfall yet from this uh, tropical cyclone. So let's uh, hope and pray it will continue till the end of the year. And we have a, uh, a localized surge of the southwest monsoon across Mimaropa as uh, soon to be a uh, marine moves out of the uh, Philippine area of responsibility on Wednesday, October 13. Take note. The forecast of more than five days that will be uh, beginning Sunday, okay, Sunday, Sunday to Wednesday, October 10 to 13, the probability remains low. So the changes of these forecast models will continue. So there will be uh, more changes as uh, next week approaches. And uh, here's the uh, uh, GEPS tracks ensemble on the next tropical cyclone it shows here that on monday to wednesday next week it might uh, really pass over extreme northern Luzon. and as we look at the uh, european model uh, ensemble courtesy of meteorologics.com formation of passage of a uh, potential typhoon cut between category one to category three is likely here across the uh, let me show to you so that's the potential window of uh, the uh, 93 of lpa 93w so that will be the possible track as of this time so it remains to be seen because on wednesday there will be new outputs on the next tropical cyclone so this forecast uh, track remains at low probability or l very high in uncertainty while well, here's the uh, track of uh, Lani, okay, which is likely to intensify over the West Philippine Sea. So it's uh, no longer uh, a problem to our country. It will just bring rains over these areas now until the next 48 hours. Uh, so far, that's the ensemble. We are showing it to you, the uh, possible, uh, uh, possible tracks of this cyclone, which is still going to change as... Uh, uh, next week approaches so we will keep you updated uh, when we return 
on Wednesday uh, regarding this uh, upcoming 93W which could soon become uh, Tropical Cyclone Maring if it does enter SPAR and become a powerful uh, storm. And uh, while Lani is likely to exit the um, West Philippine Sea by tomorrow and on uh, Wednesday likely it's expected to move out of the Philippine area of responsibility. So th there you go, no worries at this time. There are some storm signals right now being hoisted by Pagasa across western Visayas and Palawan due to the uh, upgraded uh, tropical depression Lani on their part. So uh, please take all nice precautions. And we'll be returning again on uh, Wednesday to give you more update. From uh, Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Pado reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag and thank you so much for watching our channel.